hey guys what we are going to do today is it will teach you so many things so we have this table emp department which has a mapping of employee id and department id so we have a task to delete the records which are having department id 21 and 23 okay but before that we need to take the backup as well and we cannot take backup inside the same database okay so we need to create a different database what are the things which you are going to learn so how to create a new database how to access tables of one database inside another database okay and how to take the backup how to get the records back into the original table so let's go to the new query and create a new database we can call it as a backup database okay so create database and we can call it as backup records okay let's create it so let's switch to this database huge and then we can give the name of the database which is backup records okay now we are into this database you can verify from here here we can create one table having the same schema that of uh, this table employee department okay so let's copy from here to here to right select a star into and let's give the table name so let's say we can call it as backup we can give the today date which is 10 10 2025 so let's paste the query which we have copied from the previous database so this is not required so we cannot access this employee department table directly because we are connected to a different database so how you can access it so within a square bracket you can give the uh, database name we can write it here then dot give dbo then dot this table okay emp department if you see it has taken now now let's execute this query you can just you just select query to find it out so select a star from this so this is the table which is created with the 16 records if you see now let's go back here inside your original database and you can delete it from here so 16 rows have been deleted now if you query here nothing will be shown because all the things have been deleted now how can you get back those records so we already have this table created here right but you have to access it inside main database search into your table name which which is emp department okay and then you have to select the columns emp id comma department id and which table we are going to use we are going to use the backup table that we have created here okay so database dot square bracket tbo dot table okay so that should be fine let me just execute it here you go 16 rows affected so record should be there so, all right so this is how you can do it